Benton Nardi, BB Series putters. Let's check them out. We have hooked up the track man. I know we're at a little of a distance here. Cue the wind. We are uh, a little further away than normal to you. It feels awkward being this far away from the camera. It's like uh, in uh, Step Brothers. We have all the room for these activities. <laughs> so what Aaron's gonna do is we're gonna just roll one of them. Yeah. So um, which one are you gonna roll? Because you got three in your hand. Two. Yeah, I just wanted to say the three. So you got the BB1, the BB1F, and the BB45. Yep. So the one is like your classic answer style yep. look. Uh, your 1F is gonna be more of kind of a, a little bit shorter slant neck. And then the 45 is classic mallet. Very good. So I'm gonna run the classic mallet. I'm more of a mallet guy. It's all about Aaron, if you haven't figured that out yet. So Aaron does have a little bit of a, what would you call that putt? Uh, it's probably about 12 feet, yeah. 15 maybe? Yeah, 15 foot, uphill, maybe just trickles just Right, it's really a, like a left. You putt that 16 feet, so. <laughs> oh, there you go. So it's about a 15 foot putt. And what we're looking for in a minute. Oh, oh we made one. Ka -ka. <laughs> yeah, there we go, run we it. Stole that from another channel maybe. Um, so what we're looking at doing, oh, it's funny, it's like gives you a very abrupt, abrupt ending. So we are looking at, essentially what we wanna know is our skid distance and our mm -hmm. skid roll and how quickly we can put that golf ball into a roll pattern. The yes. faster you can put a golf ball rolling, the more likely it's gonna to be to stay on line. Yeah, that's where stuff starts getting into kind of your putter fittings and changing lie angles and lofts and links and types of heads. You can get into like your stroke style, whether you're straight back, straight through, more right. of the arc with the toe hang, all that stuff. That all goes, goes into effect with it. Basically, if, we're, if we can find a way to get you into something that's 90 or above, that's a that's a pretty good amount of roll. Right. So real quick, how does the putter feel in your hand? It feels really good. It's what? actually a little that softer on the heel than 35 it is. inches. Uh, I believe it's a little shorter than that. I'm going to say that it's probably 34. Okay. It feels a little a little short. The other thing too is he does have the jumbo Betnardi grip on there, yes. not the stock pistol. Mm -hmm. It is a parallel grip. Yep. I can tell Straight. that from here. What are you looking at? I was just seeing what it said. <laughs> it's it's a Lampkin. Is is oh is it produces the grip? Yeah. As everybody through the Lampkin Golf Pride or. Man. Pretty much it. Super stroke. <laughs> well, yeah, I get, but they don't brand them all that much. They'll still no. put their branding on it, where this one obviously did a little bit, but not much. Um, no, look, I mean, it's it's good. It Would feels... you like it better if it had a black shaft? Um, Given that it's got a black grip, black head. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not real big on like if it's if it's black head, black grip, all the same color mm -hmm. on there. I I don't know that I like that as much. Okay. Um, I still kind of like the look of silver shafted. Gotcha. Coming down. Um, I feel mean, like my putter. I, I completely get it. I understand. Putter feels great. I was about to say that's my next question is how does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Like I said, I I believe. Uh oh, knock the old queen bee down. Not the tee box. Just, just kind of messing around and and being how great of a putter I am that I can I can uh, miss the dead center of the club <laughs> face. It feels softer towards the heel. Okay. Than it does in the dead center. So. Real yeah. quick, and I'm gonna I've got. And it rolled pretty good. Go. On the heel. So you guys are seeing these putts as they happen with the, give it one second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, slow down, just a hair. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Hang um, on. If you're noticing, Aver Aaron is actually averaging his roll percentage a little low for me. <laughs> what is it? 80. Wow. So you had that last, last two in a row were 80, the one before that 81, then 78, 77, rogue golf ball almost killed me. <laughs> uh, 70, your worst one was, uh, you had a pair of 72, 77. So let's check something just, just cause. I told Ryan this beforehand, like I really want to love to putt with these classic style answer Newport style putters. Right. And I just suck with them. <laughs> like I'll just be completely honest. I'm terrible with them. Well, let's see what his roll percentage was. That felt more of a center hit. Did it? Yeah. And you know, when you're talking about putters, how the contact is left to right, the type of neck you have, all those kind of things play into it. 79. No bueno. So, no bueno. So, so that's where, you know, I mean, you can, if I'm getting 79 and 80 and that kind of stuff, I 
may have a little issue with distance control right on it little yeah because we're getting a lot of this uh -huh. before you get that so i would say if i'm sitting here working with somebody we can probably get a little bit better putter for you yes than that but just look well, within the line. Obviously, I was going to say the other side of that too is that you know we have to make sure that the person stroke is actually because yeah. like, you you can do things to cause that if you're what's my what's it saying? Um, Which one now? What do we see in uh, path and face? Path and face. So path and face, you are. Oh, that's gonna close stuff. Oh, there. And scroll her down, speed draw, back, four, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep right there. Go. Face angle, dead zero, path negative 1.6. So, so I'm that's going to the left. Coming, yeah, kind of swinging it a little bit. You know, same thing, TrackMan works the exact same with putter right. and everything. So it's kind of like I'm coming this way. Is left there a way to it. see AOA? Yep. Where is that? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, should be at the top. Ball speed, launch, distance, skid, track distance, roll, roll speed, speed drop, break. Where'd it go? It is on there. I know it is. There we go. What's well, it under? It selected. It should be the very first one. Oh, there it is. 6.5. So you're yeah. 6.5 up. Hit on that could actually be, it's a little much. <laughs> Yeah, so I think 6.5 is a little bit high, so maybe you're just getting a little bouncy off the initial launch. Check that one. So if we try to get that AOA down closer to like maybe two or three. Three point five on that one. So let's check your roll your skid. Eighty percent. Yeah. So yeah, is what it is. Yeah, it is. And that's and I will say Aaron's not really I don't think that this line would be right for Aaron. Doesn't no. mean there's not a Betonardi putter that's not for him. Yeah. He probably needs to be more of a, uh, uh, a studio stock. That center hits on this putter felt phenomenal. Like, really, really good. Yeah, so, I, you know, in putters, there's so many times you get a lot of, it's soft feeling, so you don't really feel the golf ball, and you get a firm feeling. Mm -hmm. So in firm, we look for kind of that solid strike, and soft, you look for, you know, did you feel the golf ball or not, right? Mm -hmm. So this one being a little bit more on the solid side, did was it a firm, clunky? What exactly did the strike feel like? On solid? Well, like assuming you hit the ball well. Yes. Center yeah. Of face. It was it was very like uh, buttery, like buttery soft okay. feel. So you felt the golf ball? Yeah, a little bit. Felt squishy. But you didn't get a ton of feedback like correct. the toter healed one. Correct. Correct. Steve. I'm gonna see. You're good. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna see about hitting it center of the face. What my speed drop change is. Okay. Okay, what was that ball speed? Eight point two. Eight point two. So it just gave it to me. Sorry. Uh huh. Ball speed. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'll just say it for you, and when it's ready, how about that? Seven point nine. There you go. So. Got what about, the difference in those two about a half mile. So the first one was hit center of the face. Okay. And second one was hit toe. Gotcha. So not a Decreased. huge amount of speed drop, but a little bit. Yeah. And there's so always going to be a little bit regardless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so that's kind of some stuff you look at there on moving across the line. Possibly the tour one may have mm -hmm. a little bit more of a speed drop. That's something we can check as we move across Typically the line. Typically that's what happens. Just like yeah. a blade versus a super high cavity back. Something that's meant mm -hmm. for an improving player. Iron is a good analogy for that. Yep. Yeah. So we always like to bring this back to who are these putters really meant for. I would say this line is meant for that person that wants that forge feel, the Scotty Cameron, yep. um, that kind of stuff. Entry it's not moving into yeah, it. Yeah, they're not, not an insert putter. High. Yep. Uh, so if you're typically an Odyssey fan, then maybe not so much. Yeah, you're wanting to start to get into the milling faces on stuff like that. Right. Perfect. Um, and if you're looking to get it at an entry level, it's a little less expensive than most of the Scotties initially. Um, and it's a good solid putter for the price point. It, it's it is higher than most people, but I think one of my biggest things that I tell people is you're willing to spend five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a driver that you're going to hit maybe 14 times, yeah. taking a guess at it, uh, versus a putter you're not willing to spend more than 150 bucks on and you're going to use it 30-ish something times uh, on a good day. Yeah, 
maybe more. Who knows? Yeah, you're maybe using you it, use it twice as much spend and spending and, a quarter of the amount of money on it. I was going to say, the fitting process in a putter, too, and understanding arcs and all that stuff, and we're, we've shot a video about that mm -hmm. um, using all these Bettinardis because we have them at our disposal at the moment. So yeah. check out those videos if you're curious on what arc is right for you because we're not going to talk about our swings, maybe a little bit but really just talk about what the difference is in necks and head shapes and what the size arcs and what strokes are meant for which putters. Yeah, for sure. So, so cool. let's, let's uh, hopefully y'all keep on watching. We'll keep moving through this line and see everything they got. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. You're way over there. It looks like I'm looking at that guy chipping now. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Um, you didn't do your thing. I can't, I can't close it out if you don't first start it. Thank y'all for checking in. See ya.